Up in the ring, Boyd Pierce, ready to introduce this, this event. We pick him up. With a 15 minute time limit in the blue corner from Singapore, 270 pound, the spawner. Across the ring from Lake Dallas, Texas, in the red corner, David Von Eric. Your referee, Danny Max Yang. So here are two men who can look each other in the eye and who rarely find people around who can look them in the eye. David Von Erich. David is a 235 pounder from Lake Dallas, the son of Fritz Von Erich. Capable wrestler in his own right. And of course, the spoiler has proven himself repeatedly to Texas fans, to Houston fans, and to fans around the country. Side headlock for the spoiler, and he instantly goes in there to try to put his 270 pounds high up on David Von Erich to see if he can possibly get a fast fall and a quick pin. Side headlock is the hold, and David started out of it and then ran into trouble. Make it a reverse chin lock, and you've got spoiler sticking right along with him. There's the arm bar. Now David not only is a fine wrestler, but he could have made it in professional basketball as well. But he stuck along with his father and brought his brothers along with him. So right now there are four Von Erichs who are capable of stepping into the ring and forming a four-man team for that matter. Papa Fritz, David who is the oldest, Kevin, and then Kerry who is the youngest one in, in wrestling. Each of them has a specialty besides wrestling in the athletic world. So David starts trading with the spoiler and comes up with a twisting arm lock. <laughs> the turn out there on that hand, the solid twist. There you see him as, as he jerks it forward and gives Spoiler something to worry about. Now, Spoiler is a tough individual. He's a rugged man who can hold his own in any <coughs> pardon me in any kind of co company david is better when his opponent gets in there and decides he wants to wrestle but then there are not many people around who can stand up to the 270 pounds of spoiler and trade this kind of stuff We remind you that wrestling returns to the Sam Houston Coliseum next Friday night. It's been closed down for two weeks now, but next Friday night we'll resume and we'll be in the Sam Houston Coliseum every Friday night for the rest of the year. So David goes after Spoiler with the spoiler's own way of doing things. He crashes him and he knees him and tries to bruise him. When there is spoiler who starts to use a wrestling attack, which I was about to advise David to attempt, but then I am not telling David what to do by any stretch of the imagination. You can see the arm bar hold leaves part of that arm sticking out and Spoiler is smart enough to attack it right around the elbow where he can get the kind of pressure that he wants. On our side, we could see the hair pull. McShane was not able, but he's trying to break it because they're in the ropes and there's trouble for David Von Erich. Spoiler, a man who makes more use of the ropes 
than any other individual I have ever seen. Lots of people employ the ropes. They back into them. They bounce off of them. They go after their opponents. But Spoiler climbs them as if he wasn't big enough at about six feet five. But he, he climbs those ropes in order to descend on his opponent. He likes to come crashing down on him. He likes to use that elbow and to smear his opponents. Does a good job of it, too. It, and here we see him again grabbing David Von Erich by the hair. He's able to manipulate him a little bit better when he has that grip and he knows it. He twists him around into the rope. And again, he puts that rope against Von Erich's throat, and when he kicks it, it's just like hitting him underneath the chin with a with a hunk of steel, and that, that, this is what is underneath that rope, uh, underneath that uh, rubber covering, a steel cable. At the five minute mark now, David Von Erich starts in again to start to clobber the spoiler. Twisting armlock. He's trying to set him up. He goes for the sleep hold, and he's got it. And this is the hold with which David Von Erich wins the majority of his matches. He has them far enough away from the rope so that if Spoiler wilts away from the ropes, he, well, the foot's over there. David argued the point with referee Danny McShane. He's on top. He could get a fall. There's two. And Spoiler puts a stop to him by reaching out there and grabbing David Von Erich by the head and putting the squeeze on in the iron claw. I don't know whether it's proper to use the iron claw as the name because that's the name that David's father gave the hold when he invented it, the iron claw. It is a claw to the head for sure and Spoiler is Balancing by grabbing hold of the um, grabbing hold of the rope, McShane was doing his job, but by the same token, his job also entails having eyes in the top of his head so that he can watch the spoiler. He's got a lot of eyes around that are watching the spoiler, and you can hear them, the people shout as they let the referee know what's happening. It's still Spoiler's favorite hold. David Von Erich having his problems, trying to keep moving so that he's not able to cinch down on the hold and make it stick any more than it has to. And David finds his mark. That blow got him out of trouble, but as Spoiler came in, here is David Von Erich's sleep hold is the grip. He's a little further away from the ropes. He might have him in a spot here. You can almost swear that there's a grimace on that mask that the spoiler wears. And David hangs on. This could be a fall. David with those legs of his as he wraps him around the midsection of, of, of the spoiler was not able to keep him from getting that foot over the ropes and the referee says that that's enough in his opinion to have him break the hold on top von eric and there goes david looking for the mask he's pulling it with his teeth he's pulling it with his fingers he's trying to stretch that and now he's got it going David put a stop to the effort to grab the claw. You saw that hand of the spoiler come down, and David shot his own arm up there and stopped it cold. And he got out from underneath, which is even more important. So David now gets that twisting arm lock, and 
Well, he didn't get the stomp that he wanted. He was trying to work on the claw hand, see if he couldn't weaken it just a little bit. Man down, spoiler. Leg breaker, and the crowd tells him to give him another one. David doesn't need any instructing. He's ready to do it. Inside step over toe hold. Here in the Coliseum next Friday night, world's heavyweight champion Harley Race battling against the toughest contender that any champion has ever faced, Big Bruiser Brody. Main event, topping a tremendous card, a triple semifinal. Mil Mascaris facing Gino Hernandez. Jose Lothario battling Grand Marcus. Marcus, the Caribbean champion, risking his title in this match. And Dusty Rhodes, the All-American Dream, facing maniac Mark Lewin. We have two great Mexican girl wrestlers, La Bella Carina and the Black Widow, a masked girl wrestler from Mexico, making their debut here and wrestling Mexican style, some of the fastest action you've ever seen out of girl wrestlers. We've got four other great matches at the Coliseum next Friday night. And our ticket office at 1919 Caroline will be open each day of the week, Monday through Friday, from 8.30 in the morning until 4.30 in the afternoon for tickets, for reservations, and for information. He's got an inside grapevine on there. He's got an inside toe hold. He's able to apply that hold without using his hands but the spoiler used his, and David Von Erich has problems. He got ripped across the face, right across the eyes, and here is spoiler now following up and causing more difficulty in exactly the same area. And David hauled off and let him have it. He's trying to cut the spoiler down to size. It's one way of doing it. He caught him on the way up. There are three minutes remaining as David Von Erich moves in on, on the spoiler. Nice move by David Von Erich, and he is nimble and capable of flying body block. There it is, there's two, and there it The count was two, and spoiler just barely got rid of David Von Erich that time. Sleep hold. And this crowd has come to recognize that grip as being a trademark of David Von Erich, and when he applies it, he applies it with authority. He's still holding it. Spoiler's in trouble, but so is David Von Erich. There was a two count that time as his shoulders were pressed down to the, down to the mat. There are two minutes remaining. He's fighting now to put the spoiler out. A little bit harder when you're down on the mat this way to hold that uh, grip so that it will stop the flow of blood to the brain. Spoiler in the mask also has a little extra opportunity. This could be it. He's testing. We've got the hand as limp as can be. Spoiler now finds a little strength to keep that arm straight and to wave the referee out, out of the way. And Spoiler works double Double attack, he snatched him by the hair and held that face up straight and then ripped across the eyes and caused David Von Erich to let go of that grip. There is a minute to go as the spoiler reaches in there to apply the stomach claw 
on David Von Erich and to try to force him to quit. He's going after the mask, hoping to relieve the pressure on his stomach and give, give Spoiler something to worry about. The mask is half off. Spoiler hanging onto it with his teeth. 30 seconds as Spoiler again takes that gloved right hand of his and comes up and rips it across the face of, of David Von Erich. And here he is uh, one more time. There's the sleep hole, but there are less than 10 seconds. You can put a man out quicker, but it's doubtful after all that they've been through. There goes the bell. And there is the call now for David Von Erich to break the hold. The, the bell, the ropes, everything has interfered and the fans are screaming for David Von Erich to take the spoiler's mask off. He's trying. He's after the mask and spoiler is trying to protect it. And spoiler that time took the shortest way out of that ring for a good reason. And a good reason was that he wanted to save that mask. He went over that top rope in order to do it, and he's got David Von Erich at bay. And Spoiler turns around disdainfully and heads up the aisle and out of the ringside area. And we'll be back here in a moment after we have this word from the studio.